Hello guys, Wuhu here, back another video, this time around guiding you through the Halloween event we got right here in October, the Shadows Eve as it's also known as in Trove. And with that said, we do have a two-parter to this video, the first part being the first questline and then also a second part for the other questline and with that said uh, yes you can do both of them at the sort of at the same time if you want to do so uh, I would recommend you do that but if you want different steps I have made timestamps you guys can go through but it is I'm gonna start with this one up here and then we are just gonna take this one uh, as number two and go through every step of that one as well we do have the 14 days of every single day the little daily adventure quest where you have to gather an order today on Tuesdays uh, tomorrow you know upgrade a gem and also on Saturdays, of course, it's uh, that double XP potion, which is sort of the most important thing of the event. But yeah, I do like that we do have these two quests. They did tease that on the dev stream that they did recently, that they talked about this uh, whole thing. And as mentioned, I do like that we have a two part of a quest, but I would like it to change. And yes, this does require me to do more work and uh, get, but it would also give you guys more videos. Uh, but I would really love that if, uh, you know, that one part could be like, you know, the first week and it's because we have two weeks, right? I've said this before. I would love that there would be two parts to it. So like the first part would be like, oh, what is going on? Like sort of ending on a cliffhanger, what was going to go on, right? And then the second part would sort of be the ending of the quest line. And that would be released the week after. So people had something to come back for, uh, back for uh, the week after. So there's not only like one quest and you're done with this this first day. Sure, you would probably also be done with the second part on one day, but at least you had to come back the week, second week and do the second part as well. And that would also make the rewards that you get be more exclusive to people that came back for the, the both of the weeks. And sure, um, that would be a big change to some people that they were used to that it would be the first day, but it could be something for the future indeed. So let's maybe it could be changed to, you know, one part being there and then the second part. I know that one of these are something from last year as well and some, some of it is some new stuff, but yeah, it'd just be cool if it would be something people have to come back for. At least that's how I feel about it. But enough ranting about this. This was just the intro. But we are going to start with uh, meet with Wolfie's Lee. <laughs> I think it's a lever pond on Tubesley. But uh, yeah, that is going to be step one for the first part. And that's coming up right here. All right, so for step number one, we have to be in the Trove Hub. And as you can see, it's also very nice decorated for Halloween as well. They got all the stuff going on. Very, very cool looking. But we have to get over here at the house over here. Uh, <laughs> people throw in some piñatas. That also completes the, uh, you know, the step down here. The not any of the quest ones but for you know for the 14 days as well but yeah you can throw down piñatas and if you get some ores it will count towards that as well but we got of course the halloween house right here very very spooky and we have to find ourselves the uh, wolfsley uh, if we can find them somewhere and it should be in here somewhere we should have yeah, right there we got wolfsley oh sorry wolfsley uh and yeah also a bunch of pinatas as well but all you have to do is go up to him it doesn't say you have to interact with him you know uh, like underneath his name there but all you have to do is go up and interact with him whatever key you use uh, on pc i use you know, the e button and just very close to him do that and that's step number one so not something super complicated but he's right in here and you can get uh step number one completed and that's yeah like i said step number one let's get on to step number two and that's step number two. Now, I'm just joking, guys. This is step number two. But as you can see right up there, I'm already on step number three because I spawned in right here and right next to one of these pumpkins. So very lucky for the video. Not so lucky that somebody was doing it or running around. And then it would also give some to me. You know, up to eight people can run around and get the pumpkins from there. I actually need 600 pumpkins for a costume, but that's nothing to do with one of the new costumes we got with the bumper uh, uh, you know the bump bump not the bumper but the boomer ranger update we got one we need 600 pumpkins so a very good idea to you know gather 600 pumpkin for that costume if you're missing it you can later on of course just uh, plant down pumpkins and get the pumpkins that way but these are basically free all you have to do is go to a cursed valley and you're going to find these all over the place they're not uh, put on the map so it won't be one of the dungeons right here they will be just uh, randomly looking like these as you can see here and all you have to do is get three pumpkins 
Oh, uh, maybe just get a little bit around here. But yeah, you just run up, use your mount, run up, uh, do a little bit of bouncy bounce, and you get yourself the pumpkins, and that's gonna complete your step number two. But I'm gonna get a 600 for that uh, that costume, but I just wanted to do that. There's also some of the other rewards for these different things, so it's a good idea to figure out how many you know pumpkins you need now that they're basically free and you don't have to put them down as gardening and such like that and harvest them and all that stuff but just get them here and there's plenty of these i just went to the oh sorry i went to uh i went to the biome down here just the curse valley biome down here just because you know just that's where it is most but you can get it with any of the you know it's all over the place in the cursed of course a valley a biomes as you can see right here so that was step number two with a little bonus information now we can head on to step number three all right guys so for step number three you have to clear five pumpkin dungeons uh and pumpkin dungeons are basically in all the biomes i didn't want to do i also found one in the cursed valley biome but i wanted to show you guys that they are in all the biomes so if you just go to any of the worlds right here maybe even you were 11 uh i don't know if they put them in there you know it's a fairly new biome but i would assume that it's there but if you don't find any you can always go down to nine and i'm pretty that's definitely somewhere you are going to find them but they are just in random biomes i just went to the cursed or not the cursed sorry the, the medieval highlands to show you guys that they also spawn here so these are basically the bumpkin dungeons that you do have to clear the other ones are just randomly there so and and, and also not shown on the map so and they don't don't look like it just looks like regular dungeons when you see on the map so it could be these ones as well or some of these ones over here or some in here or yeah any of the other biomes that are around so uh, you just have to clear five of these uh, pretty simple just run through them as you use it so five or find five of these any biome you want to i would suggest you probably do it on your daily whatever you're gonna farm anyways and just get it clear that way but i'm gonna find five and you know get them done so we can head on to step number four all right guys, so for step number four, we have to be back in the hub because now there is a crafting table. It might've been there before, but it, at least it's there now in the spooky, spooky house. So where we found, you know, Wolfsley, we can now right next to him see the shadowy station. And there's a bunch of stuff you can craft on here. You can go through every single thing of one of them if you want to, the the decorations, the legacy collectibles, and also the new ones that are in here as well. Even with the new memento that you can get, you can also also get it from this den that we can go into but uh, it, you know not very big uh, drop rate so if you don't get it you can you know close to the end of the uh, the event you can just basically make the memento yourself but what we have to do is make the wolf den so make sure you went into your you know your claims and go down here and get your 25 of these lunar ones because you need 25 of these you do get more of them from completing dungeons and stuff and we'll get to into that in the second part of the a video or the, the quest line but we just have to go ahead and make ourselves this del gateway so we are going to go and do so that's just going to be step number four to just craft that one as you can see not very much more to it uh step number uh five is going to be a little bit more complicated but that's just step number four so let's quickly head into step number five all right, so for step number five, we are now in the area that we just built. If you've seen my previous video, uh, you'll see I made a void hole. Uh, it was right, right here, so let's not fall into it, but it, that's just nothing really to do to the step. All you have to do is get into your building mode and then place down the one we made in step number four, the delve, and you can go whatever you want to. As you can see, this is 117. I'm just gonna click it away because I do have a class and I could do it by this. And I do have a class. Oh, actually my Nia Ninja is the, my lowest PR right now. Uh, so put down that one. You can see it starts at 112 instead. So that's a little trick you can do if you want to uh, change the depth of it. So let's go into here. We can just really quickly generate it, rush the queue and get into this one. I'll show you guys the run, but I'll probably speed it up to until that. It just says clear a boss. So before in the, in last year it said you had to defeat a, def a specific boss but now it says just defeat a boss so we might have to just get it after this one which i'm really hoping because then this will be looking a much better but uh, you take your uh, you know weakest character as you can see right here and then go on your strongest character but it doesn't change the depth as you get in here so let me just quickly uh, i'm just gonna go into here and we have to do have to defeat uh, you know enemies because you see it's much easier for my stronger class to do so so let me just defeat this and i'll see you guys at the boss
All right, we then made it to the boss, as you can see right here. I do have to mention, I, did, I didn't mention this before you entered, you do have to also enter on your weak character and then first change when you are into your strong character. So we are going to go over here in the stronger and see if it actually completes when we do defeat a boss in here as well. So let's see if this works or we do have to defeat a specific boss in the Dell, because if it's just uh, this, it's gonna be a lot easier. It was, uh, it was that. So, uh, but we do have to defeat a boss. Uh, it didn't work actually. Okay, it didn't work. You do have to defeat a boss. Uh, so apparently, it wasn't the boss uh, that we have to defeat. Okay. So, okay. All right. Let me see if I can't find the boss. Give me one second. All right, guys. I think we found the right place as well because it has a bunch of wolves in it. So I'm pretty sure this is the uh, place. So uh, I will go really quickly. I do have to clear up five rooms. So I'll do that really quickly. And you guys can, I will see you guys at the boss and see we actually can do this. And it's not just a boss, but the boss of the den world. So yeah, just look for one that looks sort of like this one and has like a bunch of wolves heads here, which means which enemies that are in there. So I'll see you guys at the boss. All right, guys, we are now at the boss room and this guy very much looks like a werewolf boss. So let's go ahead and go enter the den here and let's see if it isn't a, a werewolf boss. It is very much a werewolf boss and it's even called the cursed something. I'm not sure if I can say that. That looks like a... Uh, <laughs> kind of looks like a one-shot mechanic, so we'll do that. It's the boss from last year as well. It's very cool and uh, very amazing. So yeah, that did complete step number five, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be on the third one, which it was for me, or it's going to be the fifth, whatever it's going to. But whenever you just, just keep going until you... And if you do end up can't kill the enemies there, just go out there, farm some dungeons, and just random dungeons, it will give you the Luna things to craft yourself a new one of these and then you can go into or find a friend and you can do it basically together but that was step number five let's head into step number six all right guys for step number six all you have to do is do three daily quests and now when you go back to the hub there should be a bunch of npcs right over here there's going to be four quests there is killing some wolves and werewolves these are found in the uh, you know in the uh, cursed valley biome they're just the uh, npcs that are just running around on the ground all over the place then you have to do three pumpkins or collect three pumpkins that seems very very easy to do um and then also you can get yourself yourself uh, a bomber rail coin you just gotta get one and you combine that uh, if you combine that with the one from over here in the little bo bomber rail hut over here you can get yourself if you collect um, you know get earn yourself a coin as well so if you get at least top uh, 10 or top 8 I would say rather go for 8 than 10 if you uh, end in top 8 you will get yourself a coin and you actually get two quests done at the same time uh, so you should probably pick up those at together and then there's also defeat five pumpkin dungeons as well the ones that we were talking about above before the ones that can spawn in any of the biomes not the new biomes the one the Sunderlands things the very new ones I couldn't find one in there I tried to look all over the place but I couldn't find one so pretty sure it's just a regular dungeon or the, the regular bun, uh, zones you can biomes i wanted to say biomes and then it messed it up with the dungeons but in the regular biomes that's where you are going to find the regular pumpkin dungeons and then the other ones you can just find out all over the place or you know harvest them if you uh, you know put down gardening and stuff like that so i would suggest just using doing these three seems the most easily ones or uh, or do all four uh, so but i'm gonna go ahead and get myself uh you know the uh a daily is done, so I can head on to the next part of the quest. All right, guys, now we are on step number one. <laughs> actually, we actually we are on step number two, but I'll explain step number one. I, I messed up. I did a little. Uh, I did a little oopsie. So yeah, apparently, you do have to do the first part, the one that did just uh, I just covered, uh, before you can do step number or part number two of the quest line, because before the, the NPC is not going to show up. So. Uh, do part one and then uh, do part two. So you haven't done anything wrong if you can't do part two here that we're gonna cover now, if you haven't you know, done that one. But in step number one, all you have to do is go to the hub uh, and you go into the big spooky spooky house and go in here and there's a bunch of NPCs now after you've done the first part. And there's also the high priest Lunavik. And Lunavik is gonna have you a big exclamation mark over it. And I accidentally clicked it when I was doing the dailies and looking through the quest so I could 
tell you guys as well and I accidentally did it so all you have to do is go up and you know use your interact button and that's going to complete your step number one really not much to it but I just wanted to show you guys as this as well you can see the daily quests are still there I kind of cheated I haven't done my dailies yet I know but I wanted to get you guys the quest uh, or the guide out as fast as possible as well but that is basically just step number one not much to it just go up talk to Lunavik and you can head into step number two all right, guys, for step number two, we have to get ourselves these essences. And I just went ahead and went into uh, the Cursed Valley biome, the ones that has the most Cursed Valley biome. And I just went around and killed the enemies. You can see there's one right up here. And sometimes they do drop these uh, veils or veils of essence, whatever they're called. And you just use that and pick it up. And that's going to get you one of these. As you can see, there was also two over here, actually. Somebody actually also just get these two. Uh, and it also withers well, after one minute so make sure you pick those up you can with the same thing actually also uh, get your pumpkins uh, i just did that because there was a pumpkin dungeon right here so i did my daily one as well with this one but also there's a daily where you have to defeat 25 wolves and werewolves and while you're doing this anyways just pick this one up as well and i also picked up the dungeon but i'm not going to do that one right now i'm just going to do the uh, werewolf one as well because i need uh, seven more of these essences so uh, just again run around uh, somebody's already clearing it out because uh, people want to get the quest done very quickly but hopefully we can find out oh, we found one here let's go ahead and pick that one up as well and if you are more multiple people actually sometimes there's actually two of them and if i could pick them up there we go two more in the bank so we just need uh, about we just need those uh, as you can see whoop, that was uh, one more uh, just get three more that would be awesome and I didn't get one some of the first ones so right now I'm actually getting it every single time and there's actually more over here so there's two I can go and pick up here so I'm gonna pick these two up and I'm just gonna complete on camera step number two and now we can head into step number three all right, guys, so for step number three, we have to collect the Luna. I just call them Essence, but it's just the Luna stuff. And you do that in the Cursed Valley biome. So as you can see right here at the Cursed Valley biome, do uh, keep in mind that you cannot get it from the three star dungeons. It has to be one star dungeons you get these essences from. So if I go ahead and get myself this, because I, I just completed this three star one. So I had to redo this part because I didn't get any of the essence from this one. So I just wanted to mention that. But you need to get 50 in the first uh, one star dungeon I did. I did four. So it's not just one essence per dungeon. So you don't have to do 50 dungeons. That would be crazy. But you do get a little bit. Uh, I, I would say probably like between three to five or something like that. Maybe even more. I don't know. It, I, I don't know the rate of it. But I would say it would probably take between 10 to 15 dungeons, whatever. But you just need to get 50 as well. So I'm going to go ahead and defeat some more one star dungeons and get my 50 essence and I will just see you guys in step number four. All right, guys, for step number four, we have to keep being in the Cursed Valley biome because we need to pick up the flowers that now shows up. And it looks like these. You can see right here, just have to go up and pick them up. I got two from this one. See how many I got? I got only one from that one. Uh, let's get away from that one. <laughs> and also uh, just pick up this one as well. Let me go ahead, pick it up. And how many did I get on one from that one as well? But yeah, it's all over the, it's pretty easy to see actually, which is really, really nice. So just go ahead and go around, pick up some flowers. It's all nice. This is not very Halloween-y, I think, uh, just picking flowers, I guess. But I guess you can get between three to one to three. Uh, that would be my guess, how many you will get. But just run around in the biome and pick up some of these and get yourself 25 uh let's see let's try that one more time it's a lot of people doing stuff so there's a lot of uh, lag at the moment that's just what how every event goes this is everybody wants to get their stuff right so let me go pick up some more flowers and i'll get my last 15 for step number four and we can head into step number five all right, guys, for step number five, we do have to craft the Clend Moon Shard. So we are back in the hub. You got to go into the spooky house once more and get up to the shadowy station, which we have right here. And there you go, right next to the Delve Den or the Wolf Den that we did. You get the cleansed one and you need uh, the veils. So I picked up a bunch more, but you should have enough 
for just doing the previous steps and stuff like that. But if I saw some lying around, I always picked them up. Uh, just a little hint. Also, I got the uh, flowers. Uh, you know, you can pick up some more, but I just went ahead 25. And of course, you need the 50. If you don't have enough 50 of these, make sure you then do some more dungeons in the Cursed Valley to get one of these. But all we have to do for step number five is uh, just click craft and that's going to clean up and uh, also do step number five. So that's yeah, step number five. Let's head into step number six. All right, guys, for step number six, you probably see I'm on step number seven, but because I kind of made a mistake in the previous one where I said that, hey, you needed the, you know, the old buff that the bite thing uh, to get yourself the things. But then I realized that you have to do in step number seven, you have to actually get more of the flowers and more of the veils that we get in that one. So that's the daily ones you can see on the screen here. That's actually step number seven. So uh, do we redo in step number six? You just have to move, use that moon shard that we just got from, you know, step number five. So just go ahead and get that one. And that will get you, you know, the new buff up here. And you can still get all the things that you did previously. I thought you had to get those and you sort of had to go backwards and forwards. That would be kind of cool, but this is great as well. So you can do the dailies and do the other things as well. So yeah, step number six, that's just using the moon shard and we can head into step number seven. All right, guys, picking up from there, we just you know finished step number six, or we actually did it, we had to redo it. So this is step number seven. And to do the two dailies, as you can see right here, you have to pick up more flowers and you also have to get more of the veils. And you can do that with the buff that you do have right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that after I'm done with this video. So just do and do uh, these two dailies and you're done with both parts of the quest. I do want to say again, I wish that this was divided up to each week, you know, one part in the first week, then have people have to come back, you know, just for, I know it would suck for some people think it was just, they just want to get it all done at once. And I totally understand if you want to do that, but I just kind of like the idea that you have a part one and a part two, and then you actually have to come back and actually play a little bit there because I know some people, you know, they'd like to get it all done in the first day. Sure. I understand that, but I think it would just be sort of cool, but I do like how they are doing it now. More, more quest lines, just bring tons of tons of quest lines and I will do videos for all of it. Even if I have to quit my, oh no, I don't want to quit my job, but I'm just saying I'm, I will be here all night. That's what I'm saying and uh, to do quest lines for every single of the quest. So I do enjoy all these, uh, doing these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope you guys found it in informational and helpful and all that stuff again. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy your day and enjoy Halloween and have just the absolutely best of days. And I appreciate you guys so very much. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.